My name is Omar Freya. I was raised in the Bronx. I still live in the Bronx, in the South Bronx. I've been in, I've been in the streets protesting and organizing since I was about 15 or 16 years old. I've been a part of the environmental justice movement for about seven or eight years now. And it's just what I love to do. Many of us in the environmental justice movement have wanted to create green collar jobs you know, jobs that are actually promoting environmental protection, things that are actually reducing pollution, uh, and have that happen in our communities. And we, we're bringing in people who are from the South Bronx, here in our community, people who want to, you know, create their own businesses together and do it green. And so those are the members of the cooperatives that we'll be starting and that we're starting now. You know, we have companies that come here all the time and promising jobs, and at the end of the day, you know, what we get are a, a tiny, you know, tiny fraction of what was promised and most of the, those jobs aren't even provided for people in the community. And what we get are the dirtiest jobs, the most dangerous ones, but what we get more than anything is really pollution. You know, whether it's at the end of a, of a tailpipe or at the end of a smokestack. In order to make change, you have to first come to a point within yourself where you recognize that there's a problem. Once you recognize that there's a problem and come to an understanding about how to deal with that problem, what's the vision that you want to see? How do you want the world to be? Then you organize and you get together with other people and make it happen. Our first cooperative is called Rebuilder Source and it is a building materials reuse store. It'll be the first worker cooperative reuse center for building materials in the country. So it'll be a place where people can uh, deliver, drop off, perfectly good kitchen, cabinets, sinks, uh, doors, things that normally wind up in the landfill now, and, you know, keep them in circulation. You know, we figured, we said, let's create a rebuilder source to provide an alternative to building materials. And that way people who are organizing against waste facilities can say, hey, we don't need another waste facility. We don't need a, a landfill. We don't need a waste transfer station because we've got a rebuilder source. There should be more of these things, more alternatives to, you know, where people can go and reuse materials. You know, our vision is about creating a green and democratic economy here in the South Bronx and you know, saturating every street with worker-owned businesses, you know, the same way we have bodegas on every street corner and sometimes more than one. I see Jane Jacobs as uh, someone who is, whose thinking was very much in line with the environmental justice movement and all of the community struggles that are active today for essentially community control. We know from, from experience that when you get together and you continue and you, you just keep fighting, you will be able to make a crack in the wall. And if it's not you, then there'll be other people behind you that are furthering that crack, you know, chiseling away until you eventually break through that wall. Even more than, more than trees, more than greenways, and more than uh, you know, parks and playgrounds, it's the people that, that make a place livable.